Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Home Assistant videos. Today we're going to talk about glances. Now, if you have Home Assistant and you haven't checked out glances, I would highly recommend that you do. This plugin would give you an insight into your system that would allow you to see uh, what are the different processes that are running and if in case you want to debug something like sometimes my Home Assistant uh, Raspberry Pi hung up, this plugin gives you an amazing insight into what's going on. So let's uh, see how to install that. You go to supervisor, you go to add-on store, and then you go to the uh, community add-ons. And over here, you'll see glances. It's, uh, if you look at the definition about, glances is a cross-platform monitoring tool which aims to present a maximum information in a minimum of space through a web interface. So I wasn't sure what it was, I installed it, and I've been blown away. So this is glances. It shows you different metrics on your server. It tells you how much is the CPU load. You can see what is the memory usage, the swap file usage, the load on the server. And over here, it tells you the containers that are running on the Pi. Uh, it has glances, app daemon, influx DB, uh, IDE, Grafana, Pi hole, uh, log viewer, right? All of these are different containers that are running and you can see what uh, percentage of CPU is being used by each of the containers. And then it tells you how much disk I.O. is happening uh, behind the scenes. It does tell you about the file system, about uh, the root folders in, the, in, your, in your file system, how much space they are consuming, the different folders, how much is the size of each folder, and the CPU thermal temperature, right? Also, if you want to dive down deeper inside what processes are running, you can press Z. So here are the processes that are running on the CPUs. And this gives you a further insight into the different metrics each process is using. CPU percentage, memory percentage, and then you have uh, what is the input output, reads and writes, plus the command running on, on the container that, that's causing this. You can actually press 1. So this is basically the CPU overall, but if you want to see per CPU, you can press 1 and it'll you know switch to per CPU utilization, you know, how much is... Uh, the user processes versus the system processes and how much is idle time. A beautiful software, I love it and I will highly recommend that if you're using Home Assistant, you definitely look take a look at glances as well. All right, so this was my uh, thought for the day and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Also, I'm gonna experiment with trying to keep my videos shorter as I've got a lot of feedback saying, hey, your videos are too long. So <laughs> I don't know how I can compress them even more, but uh, I, I will try. All right, guys, until next time. Thanks.